I knew I was gonna cry. Foster, take you, Hannah, to be my wife. I, Hannah, take you, Foster, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Death do us part. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise. Foster, I give you this ring as a symbol of my promise. That through joy and through sorrow. Blessing and blessing. It will remind us of our covenant keeping God. And in so doing, remind us of our covenant together. In the name of Christ. In the power of the Spirit. In the glory of the Father. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, I now pronounce Hannah and Foster a married couple. Foster, you may kiss your bride. I really thought Foster was a part of a short, like, post-grad crisis that Hannah was having. You know, she was going on dates with this random guy from the internet, and, you know, I just wasn't sure. And so despite the conclusions I made about him in my research, um, I actually really liked Foster. This is not an easy thing to arrive at. You see, Hannah and I have always had an extremely tight-knit relationship. She has been paving the way for me to be brave for as long as I can remember. Hannah, I wish I had some more tangible advice to give you as you begin your life with Foster. All I ask is that you love him and respect him the way that he deserves. If he wants to hit a second or third or fourth tee shot and then write down a par, you just gotta let him. 